what is happening? And that thing looks small too. <laughs> Cause I wasn't expecting it to be $29. I, <laughs> like I said, $29. They are not factoring in the fact that I only have one full circle. The rest of the circles are less than one fourth of the size. So I'm not getting the full product that I should be getting for my money because I'm I'm guessing that the $29 doesn't even include taxes. Like, hello, Mayday family. And for those of you that are new to my channel, my name is May and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. So today we are going to be taking a look at Tati Westbrook's most recent video uh, titled Full Face Rare Beauty Makeup Review. I, you know, just to kind of see how things are going since she got back on YouTube. Excited to try it. <laughs> I'm really wow. So I don't, uh, historically speaking, I don't watch a lot of Tati's Westbrook, Tati Westbrook. I can't talk today. I don't watch a lot of Tati Westbrook's videos uh, just because a lot of the makeups that she reviews, I wouldn't be able to use, right? Considering um, the differences uh, that we have. But, um, you know, every now and then, like I'll, I'll check in and kind of see what she's talking about. So with that being said, I haven't really seen her without makeup, especially up close like I just saw and I'm like holy smokes there's a difference <laughs> so she was I mean she must be really good with the makeup thing because I'm like it's 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 like night and day I'm, I'm pretty shocked at, at at um at the difference so let's let's keep watching realizing right now I had a dream where I was filming videos and I was using I'm realizing right now I had a dream where I was filming videos and I was using so many hand motions that now I'm like being very wow, like very aware of it. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> so um, I don't, why be self-conscious about the hand motions that you're using? I'm a, I am particular, I'm, I'm a very animated person. So I am one of those much like uh, she was describing that uses a lot of hand motions when I talk, especially if I'm passionate about what I'm talking about. You see my hands just moving, you know, and and doing the most. Sometimes. I didn't realize that Selena Gomez had or has a makeup line. So satisfying, and the colors are beautiful. You've got some matte. I agree with her. Like this is super pretty. I love the way that looks. The colors look nice. But the first thing I thought of being the minimalist that I am, right, is, well, dang, you know, I'm getting half the circle of the rest of the makeup. You know what I'm saying? Like that middle circle is like full and round and you get more makeup in that middle circle from what it looks like. And then the rest of the colors, I'm, I'm not even getting half of the rest of the co colors. I'm only getting like less than one fourth. So it's <laughs> that they factor that into the cost of the makeup. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is just the first thing that came to my mind. It's like, wow, that is pretty. I love the presentation of that. That's super cute. But if I were to like have to spend money on that, I want the full circle for all the colors. So I know that I'm getting the full value of my funds. Otherwise, it's like I'm probably spending full price and only getting one full circle with uh, less than one fourth of all the other colors. Have not yet subscribed, please subscribe, ring that bell, make sure it's turned on the proper way so you get notifications. I'm also scattered in other places across the internet and I will leave that info in the description box below. I am contemplating, this is not a promise, this is not a yes, it's not. I feel they are not a perfect match. And if someone could actually make foundation and concealer, just like the two different consistencies with a perfect match, that would be the dream. Talking, can someone please make that perfect duo? Okay, why didn't she make the perfect duo? That would have made for better products and not the crap products that she actually put out. So that's the first thing that I, I'm thinking is like, why are you asking someone else to make the perfect duo? You could have been the one to make the perfect duo. 
if you would have just taken the time to figure that out. But quite a bit. I am not liking the face products. There's tons of trash celebrity back products out there. And so I do want to know if it's a trash product. Now this shade looks gorgeous. I'm excited her over fragrance in this. Wow, $20 for some lip gloss. <laughs> I just, that's not. I mean, that better be one of the best lip glosses I've ever used, so. That's expensive. I do like the way that looks on her, um, and I like the just the way the, the consistency looks on her as well. So I like that color. Uh, but what I would be wondering is, because a lot of times when it comes to lip products, products, what I'm wondering is how long does it last? Um, is it gonna be all over my cup when I'm trying to take a sip of something or drink something? And also, how hard is it to take off? Like, how hard is it gonna be to take it off when I'm trying to go to bed, you know, or when I'm finally back home? Those are really the things that, that I start wondering about when it comes to like lip products. You know, because some, there's some lip products that just start to trash as soon as you put them on, but there's lip products such as this one that look really, really good. And then I start wondering, okay, well, what ha what happens as the as the day goes on? Right? The Brow Harmony Pencil and Gel, twenty two dollars. You know, she's she wasn't kidding. Throughout this video, she said she spent quite a bit of money on these products. Yeah, well, I'm seeing how. Cool, and I haven't even. I do like that. I like the way the brow looks, but I just don't think it, it looks good enough for $22. I don't know, that, but that's just me. Like, I just kind of feel like I would really need that brow to be dead on point for me to fork out $22 for that little bit of pen pencil. But how long is it gonna last? How does it wear throughout the day? How hard is it to take off of my face at night when I'm getting ready to go to bed? We have six of the smaller shades and then one larger pan of glitter. So Y'all, $29 for that little bitty thing? I, <laughs> like I said, $29. They are not factoring in the fact that I only have one full circle. The rest of the circles are less than one fourth of the size. So I'm not getting the full product that I should be getting for my money because I'm, I'm guessing that the $29 doesn't even include taxes. Like, what is happening? And that thing looks small too. <laughs> Cause I wasn't expecting it to be $29. I like the way the shiny uh, color looks, the shiny kind of goldish color, because that tends to look pretty good on my skin type and tone and color. But overall to me, that doesn't look like it's worth 30 plus dollars. I'm sorry but it doesn't, especially considering the fact that I only get one full circle and then less than one fourth of the other colors. That might be petty, but whatever, I don't care. Like, I don't know. I'm just, this is how I'm feeling about it. Like I could get that, like actually a better consistency when it comes to gold for a better price. And so I really, I'm not seeing that the value match up with the pricing. Your full face is done. And I'm not loving my makeup look today. And they didn't really cut it, you know, in comparison to the price. The lip is already looking less pop, you know, than when she initially put it on. And some of them single-handedly actually don't really look that great in my opinion. My, perspe my perspective of this is that this makeup is cheap makeup at a high price. Myself in the glitter situation, which I don't necessarily hate. I like glitter, it can get in my hair, it can get on my face, like whatever. But it did get a little bit in my eye and you know. Like that's a big deal. Like I don't wanna be using glitter that's just gonna be falling, like it's gonna get in my eye, it's gonna be a little bit messy. That's not a, the, the, a quality product, especially for the price, because you also lose a lot of glitter, which is the point of, of the color and shade is the glitteriness of it, right? If that, the glitteriness of it, if that makes sense. Am I being a little too harsh with not liking it? I don't know, no. 
I, I don't think she's being too harsh. I mean, it's, that's the point of a makeup review, I would think, right? It, it, I mean, did you like it? Did you not like it? Thank you guys for joining me today. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Bye. I'll see you guys next time.